please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. As far as India is concerned, how important is India for Coursera? How active has the Indian community been in terms of adopting online learning really? India has been super active on Coursera. There are about 3 million learners from India uh, on the Coursera platform. Uh, it's actually the largest country outside the United States. Uh, so uh, Coursera is very committed to helping learners in India get a great education. Fantastic. Now, if I can talk about what are the kind of courses that Indians are more interested in, would you have an idea of what they want to learn out there? So, you know, AI is actually one of the most popular topics among Indian learners. Uh, the machine learning course I created several years ago was actually the most popular course uh, taken by Indian learners in 2017. Do you think that the old uh, format of education, the traditional format, where you talk about high school and then graduation and then getting a degree, just going out there and climbing the work ladder professionally. Is that outdated? Do you have to constantly keep learning now, even for professionals? Yes, I think lifelong learning is a new constant. The old model of college, where you go to college for four years and coast for the next 40, mm -hmm. that just doesn't work in today's world, where mm -hmm. technologies and industries and economies are evolving so rapidly that everyone has to keep on learning for your whole life. What is the kind of scope, really, and potential for AI as far as professionals are concerned? Um, for individuals, AI offers an opportunity to participate in a small but rapidly growing piece of mm. our economy. I think AI will transform every major industry. I've been saying AI is the new electricity. Just as electricity, starting 100 years ago, transformed every industry, manufacturing, agriculture, communications, healthcare, AI has now reached the point where we see a surprisingly clear path for it to also transform every industry. Well, Andrew, if I can just, uh, you know, highlight one of the recent initiatives that you've undertaken, uh, you know, a $175 million uh, fund, dollar fund for startups, AI startups. Talk to us really about that fund, uh, that fundraising opportunity, and what really are you looking to do while you mentor such AI startups? Um, if you look at the last technological wave, the rise of the internet, some entrenched, some incumbents did a great job transforming themselves to be internet companies. Microsoft and Apple in the US really transformed, did a great job transforming. There are also startups that did a great job riding the rise of the internet. Uh, so I think startups back then, like Google, Facebook, Baidu, Amazon, maybe Flipkart, um, so I think just as with the rise of the internet, there'll be opportunities for incumbents and opportunities for new entrants. Mm -hmm. So um, Landing.ai is focused on helping trans existing companies transform and the AI fund, where we'll raise uh, you know, 175 million uh, US dollars, is focused on building new AI companies from scratch. Because I think both the incumbents and the new entrants, um, just like the rise of the internet, could do very meaningful work.